Paris sucks. Now that's the simplest way to put it, but let's go into a little bit more detail. Before that, however, I want to say that many tourists, especially girls, when they think of Paris, they say, oh, it's so beautiful, it's so wonderful, it's so great. And yes, you can take a photo of a monument or the right angle with the sunlight or anything in any city and make that city beautiful or awesome or amazing. But now I want to tell you about the whole experience of Paris, okay? Paris is like a bitch lover. <laughs> Simplest way to put it. She's beautiful, tall, nice thick hair, big eyes, nice smile, perfect curves in all the right places. She gives you a great ride, that's for certain. But at the end of the night, she's going to punch you in the face and steal your wallet and your cell phone. That, in a nutshell, is Paris, okay? So when you think of Paris, just think, it's a bitch lover. One sexy, sexy girl that's going to give you a fun night and then steal your shit. Because that's what Paris is. It's got just beautiful, amazing structures. The Eiffel Tower is so much more impressive in real life than it is in any photo that you've ever seen. Especially at night when it lights up and it sparkles. Arc de Triomphe, so much bigger and cooler than um, I certainly thought it was going to be before I got there. You can actually go up to the top and look all the way down the Champs-Elysees to the Louvre and then see the Eiffel Tower on the right. It's just really, really cool. You also have Rodin's uh, outdoor sculpture garden, which I love personally. You've got all kinds of things, catacombs, the Louvre, Musée d'Orsay, which by the way is way better than the Louvre, in my opinion. Um, Mona Lisa, however, is a postage stamp, FYI, so don't get too excited about that. <laughs> um, but, so you have all those great things, right? But then why is it the bitch lover? Not just, you know, a normal lover. Because of the people there. Paris, in all the cities in Europe, although to be honest with you, I haven't been to Athens yet. So aside from Athens, for all the other cities I've been to in Europe, I am most scared to walk down the street uh, for fear of having my stuff stolen or myself accosted in Paris. Um, more scared, way more than in Barcelona, way more than, let's see, where are some other places? Rome, actually, which has really, those two cities have really big problems. And actually a little bit more than even Dublin, which has more of a violence problem than people stealing stuff from you. So Paris is number one for me, and this is why. Um, number one for where I'm worried about my stuff when I go there and my safety. When you walk down the street, on any street in almost any neighborhood. I've been there for maybe two, three months if you add up all the time. Uh, rich neighborhoods, poor neighborhoods, uh, little Chinatown ghettos everywhere. You're going to have someone that tries to scam you. Now there are many, many different scams. You've got the gold ring scam where they drop it in your hand and try and give it to you and you give them money. A scam where they tie something around your finger and your wrist and tell you to give them money. A scam where a little Bosnian kid asks you to fill out a piece of paper and then give them money and someone might pickpocket you from the side or they'll ask to take a photo of you with your camera and then charge you for Just so many different things. Uh, or they'll just flat out steal from you on the metro or anywhere else. Um, and it happens everywhere. Every single time I go there, I meet people. The first day they go, ah, oh, Perry, blah, blah, blah. The next day my fucking iPhone was stolen. And that's what happens in Paris, okay? <laughs> it's just, God damn, you, if you could just take out all the shitty people in Paris, some people would say all the people in Paris, <laughs> but all the shitty people that are going to accost you, to rob you, to steal from you, to cheat you, to scam you, then the city would be just amazing. Um, so I really like the city, and like I said, I've spent a lot of time there, so I know my way around. I know where to go, I know where not to go, I know how to not get my stuff stolen. Um, but I don't like the fact that in Paris you have to always be on. You have to always be on your guard, always be worrying about something. You have to always have your bag clutched to you, you have to have all your stuff locked. If there's a crowded metro, god damn, you better be careful. Um, and I just don't like that. I take the train two hours and I get to London and I'm just like, <sighs> relaxed. Because even though I've heard of some issues in London, I've never had a problem there, never ever. And I've always been totally safe, totally relaxed, so, God, Paris, it just, it just sucks. And it sucks mainly because it's got so much great stuff, but in order to experience the great stuff, you have to go through so much shit. 
So you're sitting there, you're you know taking in this beautiful church, Sacre Coeur, uh, on Montmartre, and you're like, wow. And then someone steals your wallet. So you tell me, was it worth it to go see that church when you just had your wallet stolen? Or, in my case, when, let's say, when a street person uh, grabs your mom, <clears throat> one of the organized street people, not some drunk person, uh, you don't exactly take that too kindly, uh, perhaps. And aside from uh, fixing that situation, um, it leaves a bad taste in your mouth. So, I'm sorry, I like Paris. I would never tell any one of my friends or family to go there unless I was with them though, or unless there was some chaperone that could um, prevent them from having their stuff stolen or getting beat up or getting you know, just harassed throughout the day. And sorry, it's not really a fairy tale city. You know, I tell you, it's pretty nice to have a first kiss in front of the Eiffel Tower when it's lighting up at night, um, but you just gotta make sure that you're not robbed shortly thereafter. So, Paris, uh, yeah, what a lovely, shitty city. I'm sorry, it's just a bitch lover.